Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing viewer request video. The request is pretty fried. They want me to take naval, uh, maritime and naval ideas and then try to decentralize the HRE. And yeah, that's, that's what I get for offering people to have the option to request videos. And I don't know what I'm doing with Mulhouse. So this should be interesting. Looks like they have no unique mission tree whatsoever. Super generic, so that's that's nice. They, they can form this nation, which I think you want to do. And to do that, I need to um, murder some people. And I don't really know how I'm going to become the emperor as this lovely nation. But we are going to try. I'm not sure how to start off this, these guys, but yeah, probably just conquer, right? Like, that's that's the way. That, that seems right to me. Probably want to do a, some sort of humiliate war with, I guess, these guys. I, I don't know. Probably going to have to hire the free company because my nation's terrible. Um, yeah, that's just how it goes, and maybe, uh, I don't know, can I even be friend? can I get a real marriage with Austria, is that not even a thing? N oh my god, I, nope, you can't even be voted for, how are you supposed to be the emperor? No idea, but we'll get there, I guess, just gonna do a humiliate war, so that, that'll be nice. Hopefully there's no allies. Alright guys, I've, I heard this trick in the comments, I wanna see if it's real. So apparently, if you issue an embargo to a rival, you, you'd immediately get, are able to war with them? No, <laughs> well... You get the CB, but you can't war with them still. Maybe I messed up on how to do this because... You do get the CB, but then you you sent the diplomat, so... How exactly does that work? Oh, he's got allies now. Great. Great! Thanks, whoever recommended that. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this thing because this nation is... I don't want to say useless, but... Well, actually, I do. Why don't they get claims? What kind of meme is this? How do... I can't even siege something down. I'm so bad. Like, what do I need more guys? You think you need nine guys to siege a fort or something, right? I hate when they have actual forts. It's just, it's misery. Like, how many guys do you want me to get? This is ridiculous. I gotta be like quadruple my force limit to siege it out of fort or what? This is awful. Have I, this is such a generic mission tree. It's it's actually pretty bad. Is this the one, sorry, yeah, this is the one that they want me to, the achievement that they want me to go for? Well, listen, I said I would try, okay? Did not say I would succeed. We're taking a loan a, a month right now. Just a thrilling experience playing Mulhouse. Oh my god. Please. Siege. Election? Oh god, why? I better get a good military guy, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Why do I have elections? It's like, I don't care. How long is the siege, man? I'm gonna go bankrupt before this freaking siege ends. Why does he have a fort? Like, what kind of bullshit is this? What? 730 days? Wow. Ruins my immersion right there. Alright, he should want to go home, right? Like, okay, you'll want to go home after you have no army, okay? How about you go home? You have no army. It's hopeless. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna show strength. It only cost me, you know, how many loans? How many loans did I take in that war? It's bad. 12 loans to get show strength. Now oh, that's really nice. Quite nice. Okay. Really enjoyed that. No leader. My leader died. He gave up in the siege. The siege was so long that he actually... That's, that's grim. Never mind, guys. We won't go there. We're just gonna declare war and, like, we're better, right? That's just what it is. So declare war on, uh, this guy here and, uh... Good news is that if I fail, I get to be done trying, you know what I mean? So what am I supposed to do to form this nation, anyways? Just take that guy and then Ulm? Isn't Ulm a free city? Like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so how the hell are you supposed to do that? You have to- he's only allied to another free city, so there's no winning. Do I, can I, I don't even get claims with anybody, like, this nation is very playable. I'm worth Anne's back as well. I take a loan a month, which is really, get, really like, ideal. Like, I really enjoy that. I bet he won't leave, right? Yeah, he's gonna be a tryhard. But I think I don't have enough to siege either one of them. No way, I can siege one of them, I guess. Okay, he'll leave. Just go home. Yeah, you get a you get a lose extra twenty five per siege, sucker. I hope you get I hope you get excommunicated next. All right, all right, we did it. We we did it. Wow, thrilling. We get to take these provinces, and then the Austria is gonna be like all mad and stuff. But actually, we're gonna we're gonna pull out our trick, our, our tr Austria trick. He can't ask us for anything if we're at war. So we just have to have. We just have to have enough, you know, spine work for the next war. Although, like, are we worried about going bankrupt? Like, you know, eh, it's probably fine, right? I mean, we take a loan a turn, but that's like, like, you know. Well, we can just turn and maintain this off, I guess. I gotta wait for my diplomat to have enough uh, spy network so that I can go to war immediately. And then Austria won't be able to demand unlawful territory because, you know, like, I'm at war and it would be, it's not my fault. Yeah, something like that. We're gonna get some more exhaustion while we wait for this uh, this to tick up, and that's gonna be really nice. We're gonna try to maintain this on because we're gonna have to go to this war immediately. Wait, who Steve allies? Oh my god, he's a thousand allies. Uh, I, I wish it would tell you like 
Stop giving me useless information about Austria. I'm gonna have a claim, obviously, game. Like, who thought it would be a good idea to include all that nonsense? I'm not gonna know CB in the HRE, are you kidding me? Alright, let's end this war. And get some big money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, that's 10 loans, guys. That's pretty nice. Now, can we fabricate a claim and then just immediately attack before unlawful territory happens? These are the questions. Also, how in the hell are we going to fight all four of these guys in one? There's no way, man. This is stupid. They're, this nation's stupid. Like, what do you do? You just hope for the inheritance and that's it? Like, how do you play this godforsaken nation? I obviously can't attack here. I don't know. I'm just going to get rid of my mercenaries and do nothing. Because I don't know what to do. Pray for the Burgundian inheritance. That's all you can do as this nation, apparently. I'm going to get unlawful territory and then tell Austria that... I'll tell them that I'm too good for that. I don't even know what to do. There's no options here. Like, I could attack... I guess I attack Provence, like... But not really. Like, if... if uh, maybe if Burgundy becomes my friend, I could. I don't know. Oh, look, unlawful territory. Better decline that, and... Austria will love that. I'm sure he won't declare on me, because he's bordering me. Oh my god. He better not declare on me, I swear. Should I try my maintenance, I guess? Like, I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I genuinely, I'm just sitting here like, I don't know. Can't attack here. Too many allies. Can't attack here. Too many allies, right? Like, there's no way. Yeah, that's like horrendous odds. Why do I want female generals? What's the point of this? Can re-elect the ruling fan- What? What is this? Why in the world would he want max absolutism in 1450? Are you serious? It's a stupid. Religious values. I feel like this will, um... Like, it's good karma, so things will go well. How do you even recruit them to be female? Like, how do you do that? Is it just random and you like... Or do you get to like... Like, do you have to name them female names to get them to be female? Like, what's a good female general name? Marie. Yes, Marie. Hey, it worked! Alright, so we have a female general that can't... That, yeah, she, this... I mean, so long as she doesn't go horseback riding, it should be fine. And we just need to wait and do nothing for the next 200 years. And I think we'll be in a good spot. So my options are attack this guy who I have a truce with for a thousand years, this guy who's too many allies, or this guy's the too many allies, or Austria, just if I wanted to, like, if the campaign to end, put me out of my misery. That's always an option, right? It's like, there's a way out at any time. You just attack Austria. My only real war look seems to be attacking Provence, and maybe, like, trying to get the inheritance. I can't rule Mary. Oh my god, I can't even get the inheritance. I hate this nation. Get me out. Why? How do I stop being this stupid republic? How do I fix it? Oh, isn't it like you just have to like screw your republican tradition into the in like horribly bad? Isn't that all you have to do? I think that's the way. You have to like F up your tradition and then you become like a monarchy like normal, right? I think I remember that. So I guess I'll just sit here for a thousand years while I wait to screw up my tr republican tradition. So that way I can become a playable government reform type. Wow, <laughs> demand payment in full. <laughs> Huge. Huge. I can pay off like 50 loans with that. And how, like, let's see, I'm in 23 loans, but like, I can almost pay them all off. So that's kind of nice. Oh yes, now we're down. <laughs> we're getting there. Wow, six, only six loans. Better take those burger loans. Oh, I didn't even do the estates, guys. I forgot. That's probably bad. We should do those real quick. We got nothing better to do but seize land for the next thousand years. Here we go. Huge loans with the burger. <laughs> Huge loans. All right, I'm out of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm only in three loans now. It's really nice. Really nice. Oh, is that one of my elector allies who can't elect me, but, like, someday will be allies, you know? Oh, no, he's getting murdered. Not like this. I wanted to murder him. No. Don't take all his land, Burgundy. Please. N request the electorate. Hey, you want to, like, give me this? Maybe I should go innovative since I'll be doing nothing. I think that's what that idea was designed for. When you aren't going to do anything. I know that he's already dead, but like, let's just pretend that I can excommunicate. Let's see what happens, right? We got a dream. So I'm going to I'm gonna declare war here. Excommunicate this guy that's already being fully destroyed. In hopes that there's some leftovers for me. Should I get advice? Can I, I don't know, like, I, I would want advisors, but that's like three times my income. So I don't know if it's the way. So this has got to get siege down, and then hopefully I can get some massive amount of territory. Oh, I see what's going on. France is occupied here, Burgundy's occupied here, so they're playing the, the classic game. Looks like France took that stuff. Which probably means Burgundy's gonna take all of this stuff. Come on, le leave one scrap for me. I'm just a little mole house. Look at that. We've got a huge gains to get here still. That is some big scraps that we're gonna be able to get here. Provence is dead, but at least this guy's alive. And I, I can't even take his province, but he'll be my new vassal. So yeah, I guess uh, it's just vassalization time. That's all I can really get. And now Burgundy's wants to be dead, probably. 
I mean, I can't get the inheritance anyways. I'm not allowed to have marriages. Literally, the, the entire nation of Mulhouse, not allowed to marry. Oh, well, I like to seize land though. Yay, rebels. The dream. Uh, that's eight rebels. <laughs> oh my god, why? Well, I guess I'm hiring the free company to deal with the rebels. Because I can't otherwise deal with them. This nation is really good. Oh, I'm going to be out of loans here? Oh my goodness, we're such a stable nation. We might be able to afford an advisor even. Oh yes, this is insane. Oh, we're going to keep this guy for all time. He never dies. How old is he? Oh, by the way, my female general crushed in that battle. Okay. Now I got this female advisor. No, no wonder my nation's so stable. Fun fact, 99.5% of my viewer base, male. But this is going to change today because we got our female general. And this is this is how I'm going to pick up views. No, Burgundy, not like this. Oh, really? They can't do this. The <laughs> freaking clergy. Do I just ally a bunch of shitters and then together we can be one viable nation? Like combined? Is that the way? Oh, Aust Austria would actually ally me. Probably the way. Who can carry me though? All these guys seem like they're not the carry. Is it just like curry with uh, <laughs> this guy until he'll carry? What? what? Protective? I mean, as long as it's not like vassalized protective, okay? It's all good. So what am I supposed to do ever? Do I have to just, like, man up and try one of these wars? I think that's the way, right? Like, I might as well. Like, I'm gonna lose 90%, but what if I... What about the 10% that I win? So I attack this guy, I just gotta wipe out these two guys before they group up, which will probably not happen, but if I do, I have a chance. That's that's the way, right? Like, I can't just sit here and do nothing, it feels wrong. I, I, I think I have to try. Oh, oh yes, that's, a, that's lose Republican tradition? Thank you. I hear that's the meta. Awesome, we got Tech 5. You guys know what that means. That means maritime ideas. Better focus this up so we can get it done with, right? Luckily, we're going to start picking up big innovativeness here from getting these maritime ideas done. So do we just have to, like, man up with us, do this, just send it? Because we're not going anywhere if we, if we don't. This seems like the war is doable. We just have to, like, if they group, then we're dead. But if they don't group, then we're alive. So maybe I just get, like, the free company and then just, like, attack one of them and hopefully they can't like reinforce in time even though it's only like two province gap but maybe it'll work could i vassalize him as an elector and then steal his electorship maybe and then vote for myself could could be the way but call it trier as well but we're gonna crush this war we got we got our we got marie she is basically a six 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 yeah let's just uh let's just do this thing it's gonna be really really easy i think guys and maybe it is just easy <laughs> maybe i'm insane am i the best mole house player bro trier let's you better help me or like... Okay, he's gonna help me. Did he die? Is this a stack wipe? Is this too easy? This might be just too easy. And I'm too good to the game. There's like... I, there's no way I can get to his other place in time, right? Can I just send one guy? Dream? <laughs> no. Oh, there's a fort there. Okay, wh whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, yes. More elections. More elections. Let's start improving relations with some electors, right? Like, they're gonna vote for us. We're gonna be... We're, for one, we're gonna... We're gonna vassalize this guy, so he has to vote for us. And that's, that's a win. Maybe we like, maybe we could also vassalize. Well, we don't, maybe we don't need to vassalize this guy, but like, if we get enough vassalized situations, like, what about mains next? Yeah, that might be the way. I just like, I just vassalize all the electors, force them to vote for me, and then profit. Oh, he has a real fort. No. I hate people that have real forts. It takes my entire army. I wonder if I should just steal this, like, because I'll never be expanding anyways. Maybe I just take things, even if, even if it's not co belligerated, because it's like, what else am I going to do, you know? Trier, don't be greedy. That's a greedy bastard right there. I wanted that profit. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this non co belligerated because I can't be stopped really. Like, you know, no one can stop me. And I, that province, like, I like that province a lot. I think it's one of my missions to, to form the nation, maybe. I have to have 10 provinces. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna grab my next idea here. It's gonna be super helpful to have some marine force limit in here. If we vassalize this guy, we can use, maybe usurp the electorship, maybe, I think. I think that's how that works. So we're gonna force this guy to be my new friend that votes for me. Oh no. Damn it. Oh no. Get the improved relations advisor out quick. We better do something about trade. We gotta we gotta establish communities. You know, do whatever we can do here. Oh, we got more prestige, it's more AE impact. I mean I don't this this is a little rough. I simply want to vassalize this guy and the you know, there would be a small coalition that would form, which could be a problem. If I am allied to Austria, maybe it wouldn't fire. If I wait like a, you know, if I just stall it out a few a few years, right? Just, it might cost me an extreme amount of war exhaustion, but it might be worth it. But I don't know what else there is. I've been warned. <laughs> oh no. It's like, I'd have to wait like two full years for it to like be reasonable, I think. And that's not reasonable. 
I'm just gonna hope that they don't declare on me, because I'm a good person. Yeah, that should that should be fine, I think. Emperor refuses to transfer the roll. War goals that take the capital. I'll just steal it, right? Can't I just? I can't steal it. Austria, what the hell is that? I, I oh, it's a, it's a it's a PU thing, isn't it? I, what? I thought it was the thing I could just steal. Oh wait, it's this thing. So I just have to have Austria has to like me a lot, and then I can be an elector, maybe. I think that's how it works. Oh, I have coalitions turned off because I was playing the Ottomans recently, so I probably won't actually be able to see that anymore. It's almost like that people aren't even coalitioning you if you can't see it happening, right? It costs six thousand to take the electorship. That's insane. Six thousand ducats, and you can't have any loans. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna start annexing this guy here. Shouldn't take too long, I think. Yeah, it should just take three years or so. Get my third uh, idea here, which is nice. We get some mercenary manpower, I suppose. And of course, we get some global ship repair, which is going to be super helpful. We do have quite a large coalition formed against us, but they're not declaring, looks like. I can get this uh, Justified Wars here, which would be nice. I want to see if I can be friends with Burgundy if I just give him this province. Maybe he'll be cool. Oh, he wants... Okay, never mind. He wants Mulhouse itself. He only wants Mulhouse a little. Maybe he'll be chill. You never know. I was just thinking if I sold him this province, maybe we could we could be in getting the inheritance. But I don't know if that'll work. So let's let's try it. Let's see. Let's just pretend. Well, we got a mission done. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. We're gonna sell. Let's see if let's see if we can sell uh, Burgundy this province. Let's where is it? Sell. You want to do it? Oh, Burgundy's at war. I was gonna try to see if I could sell Burgundy that one province and see if he'll be my friend. Okay, he won't even do it. What if I just return this province? Just give it back to Lorraine. I mean, if I, uh, maybe. I, mean, I hate him apparently, but like he doesn't really want my province that bad. I I've tried I've tried this. I don't know if it'll work, bro. Why do things get worse? Unlawful territory? I don't really care. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna buy it. In fact, it just gets worse and worse monthly. I apparently really hate him. He's really not a good guy, but he won't like me either. So I just gave away my province for nothing. So that's that's pretty nice. Oh, we need a king. Yes, we're almost free. This one is uh, yeah election. Oh no. It's so sad. It's so sad that I lost my republic. Now I'm what? Wait, is it worse now? Wait, what? I thought I was supposed to become a monarchy. What's happening? Can I have real marriages? That's only that's the only reason why I wanted to do that. Wait, I can't make real marriages, please. I hate this government. Who who got this? Austria. The emperor got Burgundy. So sad. I'm crying, guys. I'm crying. He got he got the he got the inheritance. That could have been me. And then has get elected. What the what the hell is this? Dude has to mand it back. Integrate Burgundy into the Empire. <laughs> I'm voting. Come on. Wait, I could get claimed the electorate versus this idiot now? But I'm in the massive coalition. I want Austria to help me. He actually would. But I, I don't want to fight the whole world. How did he even lose the electorship when he has four votes? <laughs> that really happened. What the hell? I've never seen that happen in a game. No way. Have you guys have you guys ever seen this happen in a game? Weird. I need to take Ulm, but Ulm's gonna be a bitch to take. He's also in the coalition, so I don't know. It, it, two diplomats is unplayable. <laughs> Restoration of Union CV Austria declares. Okay, that's great. What is this? It's fort defense. That's so bad. Oh my god. At least ship cost is good. Can I get a Union on Austria? Maybe that'll be the that'd be the dream. You know, we'll just hope for that when we get a real marriage system. Uh, you know, working. Who votes for Hess? Oh, come on. You guys are idiots. Vote for me. I, when my guy dies, he might, I, I must become a, a guy, right? Like a monarchy, hopefully. Oh, institution. 22 ducats. Huge. Hey, that guy left the coalition, too. Whoever it was. Not not the right guy yet, but... Or max on points, too. That's really good. Ooh, we're getting cannons. We're, we're not getting cannons, actually. We can't afford that. It's a mystery why I still haven't dismantled my cavalry unit. But I will now. I gotta put my guy in my army. Maybe he'll die that way. Start drilling. Die in a drilling accident, please. I guess, do I annex these guys? Like, I, don't, I guess I do. I don't know what else to do. Get my next idea group. And of course, I will be taking the lovely naval ideas. Oh, look, I can even get my first one. Awesome. Love to see it. Love to Do I get like a sweep between these two? Oh, yeah, that can blockade better. That's so cool. Oh, look at that. We're, we're getting these ideas done. It's so really, like, it's tough that I can't go espionage ideas too. And the HRE would have helped a lot, but. You know, it is what it is. So my guy, I'm really hoping that he just falls over dead so I can become a, re like, whatever, republic or, or... Not a republic, rather. And that's just... He's immortal, though. Austria's at peace now? Let's see. He probably won't do the war, though. I mean, actually... Austria, you ready to carry? Should I even try this war? I guess so. 
Why not? I've got a huge army, so I might as well use it, right? Oh, yes! We've abolished the concept of a republic. The dream. We're playable now. I love to see a playable nation being born. I can even get royal marriages now. We have a vote, even if it's our subject, it still counts as a vote. Although, we shouldn't be annexing him then, huh? Because then we're not going to be able to steal the electorship. No! This is so awkward. What happens if I... What happens if I do this claim the electorate and my guy gets uh, integrated? I wonder what happens. But like, I don't even know if we win this war. This is like pretty close. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just integrate him and like the electorship will go straight to me, I'm sure. Right? Like, for sure. Nice, we finished Maritime Ideas. For the first time ever. We did it. It's so useful. I love that fleet moving speed for this nation. It's really ideal. All right, we 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 got them. We annexed them. Don't worry. We lost this, but we don't. It's fine because now we're in. I mean, I, I'm not the elector, or you know, I'm not an elector, but like clearly they're gonna make me an elector because like you know I don't need to be an elector to you know like I don't even want the want the electorship. I'll just have to ally to the electors. I'll just befriend the electors. It's fine. Everything's fine. Dude, Hess is a traitor. All right, we're pretty we're pretty huge nation now though. So that's good, right? Like, we're pretty massive. Looming disaster? Why? Number of provinces in revolt at least. Why is that a thing? Why am I- Why is there- What is happening? Oh my- I can't even walk to my own provinces. It's awful. Legitimacy in shambles? It's fine. Why aren't they voting for me? I hate these- I should have- Okay. I, okay. I should have just kept him as a subject so he had to vote for me. I think that's the only way. So now we're gonna initiate plan B where we just have to- Subjugate all the electors and force them to vote for us. Later, Trier. I'll see you. I'll see you later as my subject. But for now, Mains will be my subject. We must vassalize all of the electors, or at least like enough of them. We have stupid problems over here that we can never get to, and also uh, this might actually happen. But the good news is that we're playing Molehouse, so yeah, that's pretty good news. Is the Molehousian core? What? What's the Molehousian core? Why aren't these Molehousian cores? What does that mean? Oh, the culture has to be stupid? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they want me to culture convert. What kind of stupidity is that? Look at a personal union on Monarch Death. i love to see it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there for the first session. And hopefully uh, things will start kicking off in the next one because things have been super, super slow. But I'm hoping to get the, uh, you know, the electors shipped soon. And I almost got my useless ideas done and then maybe I can get some good ideas later on. So thanks for tuning in and hopefully this will start to pick up in the next one.